in a wired nation, but that's rapidly changing. As a new research says, 22 million Americans will cut the cord with cable and satellite TV by the end of 2017, a transition that's happening faster than anyone predicted. If you are one of millions of cable TV customers with hundreds of channels you never watch, you'll appreciate this sage nugget from AT&T's CEO. And a lot of the consumers have said $100 for uh, a package of four or 500 channels just doesn't make sense, and so they're opting out. Opting out in droves. The research firm eMarketer says the rate of cord cutting is faster than anyone predicted, with young viewers opting for over-the-air programs or video apps. Introducing HBO Now, the new standalone streaming service that brings all of HBO to your favorite devices. You only need the Internet. If you only need the Internet, you don't need to be paying for all those cable channels, too. And since cable carries network programming, it's scaring advertisers. Concerns about advertising and cord cutting have been weighing on media stocks. In truth, Comcast and other cable outfits have beefed up their customer service. But it may be too little too late as new delivery systems push into the market. Till next time, stream on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so... Josh, I desperately want to do this. I'm terrified. I guess I'm, you know, one of those people that's stuck in an old model. I mean, I've got cable outlets in every room, including my bathroom, and I get. I mean, it's ridiculous what I pay for my things. Yeah. But I don't know what I would do with that. I'm just not clear. There are a variety of streaming options that'll be happy to take twenty to fifty dollars <laughs> or so a month, which will be cheaper than what you'd be paying, paying for cable. I think the the real issue here there are, there are a variety of issues. This is really a big transformation. It's less about cord cutters, people getting rid of their cable, and more about the cord nevers, a yeah, new new group right. of of kids who graduate college or leave high school and never start getting cable. Yeah. And that's where the the biggest decay is. There there it's this a real dis dislocation that's coming to all the networks. I mean. ESPN, we were just talking about, lost 10 million subscribers in a year's time, which, are, which is remarkable. Yeah. Uh, that said, the, I, the piece, piece that I worry about most is local news, because the broadcast system grew up around individual stations and individual broadcast towers, and that incentivized people to create local news programs. If you're getting all your content, all your dramas and all your comedies from Netflix or Amazon Prime, there, where does local news fit into there? And I think that's a really open question. Um, you know, it, it, if I can just get the Red Sox and the Celtics, I'm off cable. Uh, <laughs> well, this, this that's really, the point. Yeah. That's the point, and that's the only reason I stay. Uh, you know, we were just talking about ESPN being a troubled operation. Uh, as soon as cord cutting becomes ubiquitous, ESPN is gone. Mm -hmm. Well, that, and I feel just the opposite. As soon as I can get Comcast to understand, I don't want ESPN and all the rest of these sports things. Just give me what I want. That's and in a minute, I'm about to leave because yes. I'm sick of paying for stuff I don't want. I don't want the sports stuff. Please, let me have what I want. <laughs> yeah. so, so that's where yeah. I am. Maybe you two could share. <laughs> <one>. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I... I thought all you guys were my friends. <laughs> now I hear you all want to cut the cord on me. And no, I'm going to get an antenna, John, so no, I can watch. I would watch, make sure uh, I have news. Yeah. Channel yeah. 4 news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. of course. All right. Yeah. Well, that's a relief. Oh, look, the onus, you're, you're absolutely right. And uh, for, for the local news business, the onus is on us to provide content that's so desirable that when we transfer to, which I believe is inevitable, to a universe of a la carte TV, <laughs> you will order up exactly what you know, my old joke about how you'll not only order up what you want, it'll be delivered to the chip and yeah. planted behind your ear and you'll blink to change channels and <laughs> stuff like that. But, you know, I would like for whatever newscast I'm working yeah. for to be one of the choices you will make. And I think that's going to be the mandate for happen. everybody. And, and you pay for every single thing. And just, you yeah. check, you design yeah. your own yeah. menu yeah. of what you want and you ignore the rest. Mm -hmm. exactly. And the stations that have uh, owned and operated stations, as most of the Boston network stations are, they're going to have an advantage because NBC is going to have, right. they now have an O&O station and they're going sure. to want to bring that along as much as they can. Uh, the, in smaller markets, I think there's an even bigger question about whether they that's can right. survive. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm too nervous to do it yet.